Hello guys, in this video, we will see how to create S3 bucket using Python script. So in this video, we are going to perform install Boto3, then create IAM user, then configure AWS CLI with the new user, then we will create Python script, we will execute it and verify the S3 bucket is success or not. So first step is open PowerShell or command prompt, then run pip install boto3 see i have already installed so i am getting this error next click on aws console then search for iim click on iim then click on users click on create user then provide user if you want to provide access to aws management console you have to check this one at present I am skipping this one, then click on next, next attach the policies. We are going to provide S3 full access, but I am not going to grant this privilege. We will see what will happen if we don't grant the S3 access. So I am not going to attach any policies, just click on next, click on create user, click on James, that is the username. Click on create access key. See our purpose is CLS. Select command line interface and select the checkbox. I understand the above recommendation and want to proceed to create an access key. Click on create next. Click on create access key. Now open PowerShell or command prompt. Now AWS configure. First step we have to copy this. We have to copy this access key and paste it and hit end. Then copy this secret access key and paste. Next default region, I'm going with the same US East one. If you want other one, you have to provide. Next default output format, JSON. If you want to change, you can provide JSON and hit end. We have successfully found installed AWS CLI on Windows operating system, then go through the link provided in the video description. That is for Windows and Ubuntu machines. Now open any script editor. In my case, I have installed VS Code. Open VS Code, then open a project or folder. See, I have created a folder. Open it. Not only this VS Code, you can use any notepad or any Test editor is fine, but you must have installed Python. Okay. Right click, click on new file. I am giving file name as file name can be anything, but extension should be py. Hit enter. Now import boto3. If you are not sure, then go to this link. That is, see, this is the boto documentation. I will keep this link in the video description. See, we have these three scenarios. List buckets, create bucket. So our purpose is first we will see how to create a bucket. Click on this one. This is the syntax and examples. See here we have the para syntax and the parameters and examples. Okay. See, first step is this is the this is the line that is import boto3. Ne? Then R2 session, this is the variable name equals to boto3 dot session. In the session, we can provide the region. I am giving region name as region underscore name equals to us hyphen east hyphen one. It can be singular double quotes. Then, then S3 client equals to R2 session dot client. Then in brackets, provide S3. See, provide S3. Okay. Provide bucket name bucket underscore name equals to anything. Here I am giving R2 admin 1, 2, 3, 4. The name must be unique across AWS accounts. Okay. 
this is just variable declaration s3 client dot create underscore bucket this is the method so in the method we have to provide the value that is bucket name it is case sense to equals to this one that is this variable copy it or simply paste the variable name see instead of giving these two lines you can directly also we can give let me first we will execute this and we will see without these two lines save the file then in powershell r in command prompt r in vs code we can execute in vs powershell r command prompt in powershell we have to navigate to the respective path and we have we can execute click on terminal then new terminal see we must be in this path where this file is created then on python then s3 dot py see this is the file name we have to do. otherwise f5 from your keyboard then click on this one but i'm going to show you python s3 dot py this is the command you need to run in Postular command prompt also. Hit enter. We will get the access denied error. See, we got the access denied error because the user we have configured doesn't have the permission to create the this create bucket operation. Go to IAM, go to user James, then click on add permission, click on attach policies directly, then search here S3. Hit enter. See, these are list of the policies we can configure. Just click on for this video purpose. I am giving S3 full access. Then click on next. You can add permission. It is success. Wait for a moment and go to shell, clear it. Run again Python s3.py. It is success because we haven't received any output. Now go to console s3 c we have created one s3 bucket so go back as i told you earlier you can this step is not required i'm commenting this one okay now instead of this bucket name i am going to give in quotations r2 admin one two three four five before it is one two three four so now run the same save this file run the same command hit enter it is success go back refresh by clicking on this refresh button see we have created one more s3 bucket i'm going to show you how to run this code in powershell or command prompt open cmd run as administrator first run python see python is installed control z to quit now go to this directory where we, we have kept dot py that is python file so cd cd s3 dir c we have s3 dot py so i'm changing name as r2 schools one two three four five six seven eight okay then save the file let me increase the font size run python then python file name hit enter see it is success because we haven't received any output we can receive output if we configure response but i haven't done now go to the same s3 buckets refresh see one more is created so we can execute python script from anywhere like vs code or shell or command okay now we can find the list of the buckets by using go to this one simply see just copy the script open new file put s3 list dot py and hit enter paste that command save it run the same python s3 list dot py hit enter see the bucket list we have these three buckets we can run the same command 
here also dir see we have created one more file so python s3 list dot py hit enter see we got the list of the s3 buckets if you are not using the buckets it is always recommended to delete the buckets so in this video we have seen how to install boto3 then we have created python script file then we have executed then we have verified whether s3 bucket is created for more aws or devops videos please subscribe my channel thank you